Time to make some snowflakes. So here's a website shared to me by Andy Lozick that had a uh, instructables about a, another website, which was Flash. This is HTML5. And he was 3D printing snowflakes. So kind of like paper snowflakes without making the paper mess. Uh, it gives you a triangle. They've already folded the paper. And then you draw shapes to cut out your paper just by clicking and you obviously have to close your shape off um, so polygons to make a snowflake whatever funky shape you want and then down here it says make snowflake and there is your snowflake so whatever you wish now, i picked purple as a background um, try whatever backgrounds because I'm going to go, let's go one step further and let's 2D cut these. Um, obviously you can't get, there's no export. So I'm just going to get a screenshot of that basically. Uh, on a Mac, it's uh, shift command four to get just a box. And then I am going to my Cricut space, my Cricut design space, and I'm going to do a new project. And I'm going to upload the picture. Uh, da, da, da. Now, Cricut is nice. It, it, it's got uh, PNG, JPEG, GIF, um, SVG, GIF. It's got several. I know the Cameo software, the free version, um, does not do SVGs. But this isn't an SVG anyways. So I upload my image. Now, I wanted a high contrast background because of this next step. So I'm just telling it's a simple thing. Continue, and now I need to get rid of the background. So I start clicking. And then I click all the purples um, because I need to get rid of them because I don't want them around. Um, so I got to click on all of them. So just be careful of how many you really want to click. I'm telling it I don't want that. Now you could try uh, some background removal websites for this step. And there's some purple sticking right at the edge there. They're just going to make, yeah, it's because of the shading. It's got some edge stuff there. Uh, continue. And that's what it'll look like. You see there's some stuff right there. I'm going to try and get rid of, I could try and get rid of that. Uh, there's a back button somewhere I can't get to, um, but we'll go with that. Save. And then I will, yeah, I tried it once before. Then I will insert that image to a new project. And I will tell it I'm not printing anything, so no fill. And there is the snowflake that's going to get cut out. So I can put that on, you know, a heat transfer vinyl. I can get some window decal vinyls, um, put that in there. I could put it on cardboard. Uh, someone has said um, cutting out like cereal box cardboard on a Cricut or a Cameo. Um, so there is uh, that. And then go ahead and make it. Thanks for watching.